தமிழ்நாடு அக்ரிகல்ச்சுரல் யூனிவர்சிட்டி சென்டர் ஃபார் பிளான்ட் ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் ஸ்டடீஸ் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் பிளான் பெத்தாலஜி ப்ரௌட்லி ப்ரெசன்ஸ் பயோபெஸ்டிசைட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் அண்ட் ஓவர்வியூ Here we have chosen the maize crop which is 2 months old. Pull out the maize plant from the field. Gently tap the rhizosphere soil which is adhering to root system for isolation of microbes. Weigh 1 gram of soil sample. Nutrient ahar medium for bacteria, trichoderma selective medium for fungi, king's bee medium for pseudomonas. and kennets ahar medium for actinomycetes prepare dilutions up to 10 to the power minus 7 using sterile distilled water these are the various dilutions take 1 gram of soil sample and dissolve in 10 ml of sterile distilled water Take 1 ml of suspension from 10 to the power minus 1 dilution and add to 9 ml of sterile distilled water. Subsequently, make dilutions till 10 to the power minus 7. Choose 10 to the power minus 3 dilution for isolation of fungi trichoderma. Transfer 1 ml of suspension to a sterile petri plate. Rotate the plates gently. Add a pinch of streptomycin sulfate into trichoderma selective medium to prevent bacterial contamination. Heat the mouth of the flask and pour 15 ml of molten and cooled trichoderma selective medium in a sterile petri plate. Rotate the plates gently. Heat the mouth of the flask and add 15 ml of molten and cool trichoderma selective medium into a sterile petri plate. Rotate the plates gently. Maintain three replications. Choose 10 to the power minus 6 dilution for isolation of bacillus. Transfer 1 ml of suspension to a sterile petri plate. Rotate the plates gently. Heat the mouth of the flask. and pour 15 ml of molten and cooled nutrient ahar medium to a sterile petri plate maintain three replications rotate the plates gently and allow it to solidify choose 10 to the power minus 6 dilution for isolation of pseudomonas transfer 1 ml of suspension to a sterile petri plate heat the mouth of the flask and pour 15 ml of molten and cooled king's bee medium to a sterile petri plate 
wrap the Petri plate tightly using cling film. Incubate the Petri plates at room temperature 7 days for fungi, 2 to 3 days for bacteria and 7 to 14 days for rhachnomycetes. Bacterial colonies absorbed after incubation. Initially, white cottony growth of trichoderma colonies absorbed after incubation. Subculture the colonies using potato dextrose ahar medium for culture maintenance and further studies. Pick out a single colony using sterilized buds and streak on the surface of the solidified medium using simple streak method. Maintain three replications. Sterilize the inoculation needle Take the grown trichoderma colonies using sterile inoculation needle Transfer it into a solidified fresh potato dextrose agar in a petri plate. Pure colonies of Pseudomonas and Bacillus were observed. Pseudomonas which has fluorescence and bacillus which has serratin margins. Pure colonies of trichoderma after 3 to 4 days, after 6 to 7 days and acnomycetes after 2 days and after 7 days. Assessing the antagonistic efficacy using dual plate technique. Make 8 mm mycelial disc by using sterile cork borer. Place the mycelial disc of pythium at one side of petri plate which is 1 cm away from the edge of the plate. Make 8 mm mycelial disc of macrofomina using sterile cork borer. Place the mycelial disc of macrofomina at one side of petri plate which is 1 cm away from the edge of the plate. Repeat the same for fusarium. Take the biocontrol agent Streak the biocontrol agent on the opposite side of petri plate perpendicular to the pathogen.
Bacillus inhibits the growth of Pythium. Pseudomonas inhibits the growth of Fusarium. Trichodoma inhibits the growth of Fusarium. Bacillus inhibits the growth of Macrophomina. Pseudomonas inhibits the growth of Macrophomina. Atnomycetes inhibits the growth of Macrophomina. Mass multiplication of biocontrol agents. Nutrient Ahad broth. King's B broth. Sterilize the inoculation loop. Take loop full of Bacillus pure culture using sterile inoculation loop. Inoculate loop full of Bacillus culture into nutrient broth. Repeat the same for 2 to 3 times. Take loop full of Pseudomonas pure culture using sterile inoculation loop. Inoculate loop full of Pseudomonas fluorescence into King's Bee broth. Incubate the inoculated broth in a rotary shaker at 150 rpm for 72 hours at room temperature. After 72 hours of incubation, broth containing 9 into 10 to the power 8 colony forming units per ml should be used for preparation of talc based formulation. Take 1 kg of purified talc powder and add 10 gram of carboxymethyl cellulose. Add 400 ml of bacterial suspension to the above mixture. Mix it well in a fine manner. Talc based formulation of Pseudomonas fluorescence. Repeat the same procedure for Bacillus amyloliquefaciens as done for Pseudomonas fluorescence. Shade dry the product to reduce the moisture content below 20%. Molasses yeast broth is used for trichoderma mass multiplication. Mycelial mat of trichoderma absorbed after inoculation. Homogenized mycelial mat of trichoderma along with talc powder were mixed well to get the final product.
talc-based formulation of trichoderma. Commercial product of Pseudomonas fluorescens, Bacillus amyloliquefaciens, Trichoderma viridi. Assessing the shelf life of bioformulation using serial dilution method. Take 1 gram of Trichoderma talc powder. Mix 1 gram of Trichoderma talc powder in 10 ml of sterile distilled water. Take 1 ml of suspension. And add to 9 ml of sterile distilled water. Make dilutions up to 10 to the power minus 7. Take 1 ml of 10 to the power minus 3 dilution. and add to sterile petri plate. Rotate the plates gently. Heat the mouth of the conical flask and pour 15 ml of melted and cool trichoderma selective medium to a sterile petri plate. Take 1 gram of Pseudomonas talc powder. Mix 1 gram of talc powder in 10 ml of sterile distilled water. Take 1 ml of 10 to the power minus 6 dilution and add to a sterile petri dish. Rotate the plates gently. Pour 15 ml of Melted and cooled Kingsby medium onto a sterile petri plate. Rotate the plates gently. Trichoderma colonies were observed. Bacterial colonies were observed. Maize plant without treatment with biocontrol agent. Bacillus amyloliquefaciens treated plant shows better root architecture. Treated plants with biocontrol agents shows better root architecture and as well as offshoot growth. Same image of Pseudomonas fluorescence in roots and same image of Pseudomonas fluorescence in stem. Same image of Bacillus amyloliquefaciens in root. Same image of Bacillus amyloliquefaciens in stem. Thank you for watching.